Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick deck profile on my Dark Worlds that I took to the Kissimmee Regionals this weekend. Um, I went X3, I placed 73rd out of 443. It was no doubt my best Regionals, um, and I felt really comfortable with Dark Worlds because Dark World is actually the deck I actually got into Yu-Gi-Oh! with. Um, I started playing around Photon Shockwave's release, and if I remember correctly, this came out in... November, December of 2012 or 2011. I think it was 2011. But um, I just felt really comfortable with the deck and I took it and went X3. Um, I wouldn't change anything. I'm still trying to test it out, see how everything goes, because I built this last week. So I'm still trying to get the kinks and all the ends of it. Um, it does great against the meta. Um, Fire Fist is a good deck. Um, uh, not Fire Fist, uh, Dark Worlds is a really good deck. It's just that people don't want to admit it because there is a lot of salt with Dark Worlds and I totally agree with you. I hate playing against Dark Worlds. But playing in it actually isn't that bad. Um, it's not autopilot. It, you actually do have to think about your plays. You can misplay very, very easily. Um, and I understand your salt. You just don't want to admit it. Um, but if we look at the reality of things, they have been topping YCSs. They have been topping regionals countless times this format. So it is a good deck, this format. Um, I consider it tier 1.5. So let's just get into it. We got the triple Grapha, the standard. Triple Snell. Triple Brow. I decided to do double beige, no silvers, no golds. Um, I just thought beige was a great thing just because I could normal summon it and I could spam it to spam my Graphas. Um, and it, I could just use it for rank fours if I needed to. The Trans Arch Fiend Snow, etc., etc. He's still a 1900 beater with the gates. Um, and then I do double trance. Um, even with Skill Drain, he's still a great card because I still get his effect that activates Engrave when he's destroyed. Um, which is to recycle a dark banish monster, which is really good. I could always grab a bait or a, a brow or a snow that I banished off of gates. Or I could get a bottomless Grapha. Um, I usually just get the bait, the brow or the snow, normal it, bounce it, and then go off with gates. Um, that's it for the monsters. I only play 13 monsters. I don't play any tour guides. Um, no Silvas, no anything like that. Because with uh, triple main skill drain, it's kind of hard to get effects off. Alright. Uh, spells. I decided to do triple upstart. Um, just a good card. 37 cards. Triple dark world dealings. Triple drag down. Really good card. Everyone knows what it does. Probably It's probably the most hated card in the deck. Uh, the gates. And I decided to main two MSTs. Um, I was maining three, but then before the event I decided to do three. Um, it really worked out because I wanted game one to be as aggressive as possible, um, so that I could secure game two or game three with the side. Uh, one foolish burial. That's it for the spells. I didn't play Allure of Darkness because I thought playing 13 dark monsters, um, wasn't just enough for Allure. Um, I thought it was a little too tempting. I thought banishing my monsters that I needed to discard was a little, um, detrimental to the deck, so I took it out. For the traps, I played one Dark Smog. Um, I was considering bumping this up to two, but one is just fine right now. If it was searchable, then maybe I would play two. Um, the EV, I made an EV, and Torrential Tribute, I drew into this almost every game. I think it's because it's L, O, N, Ultra. Um, it's just really thick, and I always draw into it. Um, I main triple mind crush. Um, if I won the dice roll, I'm probably gonna win that game. Um, triple mind crush is just disgusting. Triple skill drain. This is also um, this is one of the cards I actually got into an argument about over a ban list. It's just this card is ridiculous. It actually stops your opponent from just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Why it hasn't been hit yet is beyond me. When soul drain is at one, this honestly needs to get hit, but. Right now, it's the, one of the best cards in the deck. And then I did the Triple Reckless Greed. Um, pff, this card's Reckless Greed. Uh, that's the main. Obviously, it's going to be 40 because I want speed to be priority. Um, 
We'll do the side deck. I did double Jack Frost. For people that don't know what this does, this is a hand trap. It's like Battle Fader and a Book of Moon that doesn't target. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Heratic matchup, they fear this card. This card is godlike. This card is godsend, and it's a fiend, so you could use it with your field spell. Uh, I mean, the, or I side the third MSD. Double Dust Tornado, this card is so clutch. When they flip that Soul Drain, Vanities, Imperial, just flip that, and it's just like... They don't know what to do. Um, I cited two deck devies. This card is disgusting against Gyrgyz. Um This card is GG against Gyrgyz, actually. Um, they just discard their armors, their MK2s, their um, their arsenals, their accelerators, just everything they have. Uh, double DNA surgery. I don't think I cited this in once. Um, it's more player preference. I like I like to feel safe knowing that it's in my side. If it was ever needed. Uh, two overworked fire fists, bujins. Um, this is great because it's chainable. I really like it against fire fist matchups. Double light imprisoning. I didn't ever use this once because I main triple skill drain. This was kind of a poor decision on my part. Um, I should have known better. Um, so whatever. And then double debunk. This card is godsend. This is literally one of the best cards I find. Um, my Dark World Mirror match, um, I debunked double Graffas. Round 9, I played against Black Wings. I debunked his Kalut when he tried to go in. Um, that It's such a good card. Um, Mermails, it's just a great card in general. For the extra deck, got the exit on. Um, I never make it once because you always really have more cards than your opponent. Um, the Honor Arc, I, it's Honor Arc, it's just a good card. Um, Abyss Dweller, Abyss Dweller is Abyss Dweller. Um, when people make it against me, it's just like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to summon Graffa anyways, because it's an inherent summon and run over your Abyss Dweller. Master Key Beetle, I used it to protect Gates, it's pretty cool. Gaga Cowboy. My Stroke. Crazy Box is so freaking good in this deck, like, holy crap. Because uh, it's a fiend, you could use it with your field spell when it dies, and under skill drain, it's a 3k beater with the um, field spell out. With skill drain, it's a 33k beater. Black ship, this card's black ship, it's good. Gen Knight Pearl, never used it once. Um, Galaxy Eyes, didn't use it once. Gimmick Puppet, didn't use it once, but I would if the situation arose. This card is just too good not to run if you run uh, level 8s. Uh, Heretic Sun Dragon, um... God of level eights. Zombie Stein, uh, 4,500 frickin' take the dick is what I call that. And I'll say, um, I also had a Felgrand, but I was borrowing it. It was my friend's. But I'll say is freaking so good. He's Lightning Chidori on crack if you call the right, if you call the wrong um, card name. I used it once I was playing against my friend. We were playtesting. And I looked at my graveyard and I was like, I, I've only used one Dark World Dealings. And I looked at all my cards and I looked at everything. I looked at my deck size. I was like, okay, I have a pretty good chance of drawing Dark World Dealings next. I called Dark World Dealings, drew into Dark World Dealings. I was like, oh, take the date. And it was awesome. Um, that's really it. That's the deck profile. Um, if you have any questions, then uh, comment. I'll be glad to answer them all. Um, that's really it. It's Dark World. It's pretty standard, other than the no tour guides thing. But, um, let me know.